everyone just popping in real quick at the beginning of this video to give Gail a little bit of a makeover because unfortunately I did have to delete all of my custom content and now I pretty much had none so I went CC shopping specifically for things for Gail. I did want to say that well two things actually concerning gameplay one um i played further after i finished recording this episode to try and just up her archaeology skill and get things done and uh one we maxed the archaeology skill so that is now maxed out and two we completed that level of our aspiration that i mentioned in the episode and uh, second, I played a little bit off screen so I could get her knees up before I recorded this episode. Or, um, no, that was before the last episode, I believe, actually. And, or maybe it was this one. I can't really remember. No, it was before the last one because we were in the jungle during this one. But before the last episode, um, the I got a notification. I was playing to get her knees up and things because get, watching Getting Needs Up is pretty boring. So I um, actually got a notification that her poison curse went away. So when we were in the temple, we got cursed and she was like poisoned uh, by a poison dart or whatever you want to call it. And I got a notification that that went away. So that's why I never brought it up and I completely forgot about it until right now. But I did just want to let you guys know about those two little things, or three little things technically, I guess. But I hope you enjoy the makeover, enjoy the part, and don't worry, you will also hear my full real intro in the beginning of the actual episode. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this one because it is a doozy in the best way. So I guess I will see you all in a second. Also, sorry for background dryer noises and for no in-game noises. Hello, my fellow felines. This is Kitty Cat Plays With The Yarn here, and welcome to another episode of the Burstone Legacy Challenge. So I did just play a little bit off camera, getting Gail some stuff to kind of mess around with. We got... Uh, some crystal not crystals but we got like some new things to work on on the archaeology table etc and we also hello maxed our archaeology skill I'm so proud of her um, but during this process she did pee her pants so she's pretty embarrassed but it's okay and she's like her needs aren't good like not gonna lie but we're getting stuff done and that's what needs to be done that didn't make a lot of sense but that's okay and after this i think i'm going to take her back to her housing and just kind of fix her needs maybe try oh <laughs> If any of you have missed it, this is, this is her. We had a relationship with her. We are lovebirds with her. We asked her to be our girlfriend a few parts ago. She said no, so I killed her. Just for clarification. And she called us asking us to go out to ladies night. So there's that. <laughs> Yeah, after that, let's just go back to her housing because uh, her needs are terrible. <laughs> but yeah, she is not doing great. She's really hungry. She wants social. She's dirty. She's getting kind of tired. Like, it's just a mess. But we're getting things to work on on the archaeology table. And that is all that matters. So a lot of this part is going to be... Uh, trying to hang out with Juan, I think. And looks like we can actually invite him to join our vacation. So that would be interesting. 
just some quality time with him. I think that would be a good idea. And now I'm gonna let her take care of her needs. Notice I said let her take care of her needs because I don't really want to. I mean, do whatever you want, dollface. Just don't start a fire. What is she making? Grilled cheese? Scrambled eggs. Well, it is three o'clock in the morning, so I guess that makes sense. But I am going to cut back when all of her needs are better. All right, so it's noon. Gail is doing pretty good, though her social is kind of low. So I think we are going to invite our friend Juan over and see if we can make any headway on that. Hopefully we'll be able to because we need to marry someone from Salvadorada and he is someone from Salvadorada. <laughs> and actually that's really funny that his name is also Juan because Renee, the uh, co-creator of this challenge, her founder also married a man named Juan. So I found that super, like, I don't know, entertaining, I guess, coincidental. But his style definitely uh, needs some help. So we're probably gonna try and help him with that when we can give him an archaeology lecture. What does that do, though? We're going to help him with his fashion once we get him into our household. And he's also an adult, and Gail is still a young adult. So that's a thing that is kind of yikes. I guess that boosts her fame, which is cool. And this will boost her... Why is she embarrassed? Awkward comment. Yikes, Gail. It's okay. Yeah, so we're just gonna talk to him about, like, a bunch of, like, the things with the little head beside it. Because those get our culture skill up. I can't remember exactly what it's called. But I think those get that up. So that's pretty cool. Salvadorian culture, yeah. I think that's only a level 5 skill. I'm not 100% sure, but I think. So that would be pretty cool if it was, because that would mean we are pretty close to done with that, too. I did just give Gail a bunch of new outfits, too. I probably... I don't know if I'm putting that at the end or the beginning, but you'll see it at some point. But yeah, I had to give her a makeover because I had to delete all of my custom content. And, uh, yeah. So I gave her a makeover because I needed to. Or else she was just naked. All the time. Do we know if he's single? I mean, I just asked him, but I don't see one, so that's a plus. And he's- oh, that, that's so cute. They're so cute. Plus her reputation is going up because she has like... Okay, I don't know why it said she like had fame points, but... Yeah. Gail, you need to change your clothes. Thank you. Awesome. Now we can actually have a real conversation. He is single. That is perfect. I'm gonna invite him to stay. I'm gonna get to know him. I'm gonna compliment his appearance. We're just gonna do all the things, but otherwise, we are doing pretty good, and I'm excited about it. Okay, I lied. We're not doing pretty good. Gail. Gail is just having a hard time at love. Did that go over well? Okay, that went, that went off fine. So that's good. We're gonna give him some repair tips. Okay, we're both flirty. So I think that 
will help now. Let's compliment his appearance again. Why am I, why did I click that button? No, we want to maybe kiss his hands. I don't know, because, like, Gail seems to just have a hard time with finding love. Like, with JJ, it came a little more easily, but then she ended up, like, saying no to us when we actually asked her to be our girlfriend. So I think with Juan, we should just move a little faster. And by a little faster, I mean full speed ahead. Let's go. First kiss, first kiss, first kiss. I'm living for this. I'm keeping this in this mode so I can take some cute screenshots, by the way. Because if you folks didn't know, I love screenshots. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, that went well. It looks like he's on fire because they have candles right there. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Wow. Okay, so that went well. Can we, like, ask him to be our boyfriend? And hopefully he won't deny us? Or... I'm gonna ask him. I was gonna say I'm not gonna kill him if he says no, but... I can't promise anything. Yes! Oh, he took our rose. That's cute. Be our boyfriend? Yes! Yes! We have a boyfriend! We have a boyfriend! Mission accomplished. Yes! Okay. Okay, Gail, go get food. You're hungry. We got a boyfriend! I'm so excited. I'm, like, gonna squeal. I'm acting like this is me that's in a relationship. Oh, boy. We have so many things. Uh, uncover. Wow. So I'm probably gonna do a lot of that off camera because I have a crap ton of things to authenticate um and that's it's kind of boring to watch not gonna lie so uh i i'll probably do a lot of that off camera like i was doing like the the hunting if you will for crystals and things and honestly i don't even think i found any i have four things of bone dust holy crap what are those bases okay so what I need, that's uncommon, that's not rare though. I need rare. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I have my first rare. Yes, okay. So this means I can do my first relic thing. I think. Hold on, let me research. So, my one contact that I uh, could ask about this is asleep, I believe. So, we're gonna take a chance and hope that this is what makes a rare, a rare relic. Because I'm pretty sure like, because the, the base and the, the topper don't have, like, rarities. So I'm pretty sure it's just the crystal in it that has to be rare. So I think I'm good. Common. Uncommon. Common. Common. Rare. Oh my gosh. So in reality, one base, two base, one top, two top, and then I have that one, and then, oh, those are so pretty. I just need one more base and one more thing right and in theory I have all of my rare relics done I think if this is how you do it is that the one I just did no 
Where is the one I just did? Okay. Fuse with the Chaos Relic base. Yes. Wait, Chaos Relic base. I don't think that sounds like a good idea. This doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> Gail, are you okay? Okay. What is that? No, you're not gonna go have a mud fight. So then we can insert that, right? And then And the, and and now I don't I don't know <laughs> I don't know if that's what I needed to do or not. Activate on self. Curse of arbitrary needs. This probably isn't gonna be good, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Be cursed, yeah. Atrophying needs, awesome, love that. That's great. So I'm gonna combine the other base with the top and then I'll do the other crystals that I have and put one of them in because I feel like there's no sense to just kind of have it. So do I, did that like use it? Cause I don't, oh wait, there it is. Okay, I see it. So, okay, I have that now. Stop, you're not gonna go have a mud fight. In okay, I need to refine one of the one of the Alexandrian knights. Is that how you pronounce that? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna sell the rest of my crystals then. She really wants to go have a to go play in the mud. And I don't understand it. No. Okay, we just need this little crystal boy. No. We just need this little crystal to get in my inventory. Get in my belly. I hate that movie. Why did I just quote it? <laughs> Insert crystal. Refined that thing. And you know, if this isn't how you actually make crystal rare crystals or rare relics, then I'm screwed, I guess. <laughs> I mean, that's the long and the short of it. So I think... What does this one do? Curse of Arbitrary Needs. So those two are the same, even though they have like different crystals in them, which is fine. Um, but now we are going to just authenticate artifacts because we are getting pretty close to the next level of our thing. We just need to find three more excellent quality artifacts. And after that, we will be on the last stage of it, I believe. Yeah. Um, and then even with that, we already have this done. And we just need to find someone to like friends with for that, I think. And then I hope for this one, we only need archeology span skill, but we might need to work on our writing skill for that too. So we'll see, but we're getting uh, pretty good at what we're doing. We're on our way to doing well, and I am pretty hyped about it, not gonna lie. And then for like generation goals, we have to marry a Salvadorian, complete three rare relics, and mark it, max out archaeology skill. So uh, archaeology skills done. Uh, rare relics are on their way, and Salvadorian is on their way. So we're getting uh, relatively close to the end of this generation, which is bonkers to me since we're only on like episode 12. But yeah, so I think I'm just gonna leave Gale to authenticate some artifacts. I'll probably do a lot of that off screen because like I said previously, I think they're kind of boring to just sit around and watch. 
but I'm gonna get going right now so I hope you guys are having a perfect afternoon evening or whatever wherever you are in your neck of the world and be sure to like comment and subscribe to become a popper because I post new videos all the time and I will see you all in the next video bye